Hey everybody, Kevin from Incognito Express and Military Vehicle Relocators. Thanks to everybody who's subscribed and all you future subscribers. Okay, the thing you need to know whether you use me or not is how to strap down a vehicle. The first things first, the tire is the best thing to tie off to. Not that we do it every time. Some of our older vehicles like Model A's and T's have little skinny tires like this, but we'll get into that in later segments. First things first. This is called over the wheel strap. We did address this one time before. So what we do, we put one in here as close as we can to the tire. It's got some little notches that can go into the tread of the tire to help it stay in place. Get everything lined up perfectly so no slack can happen. All right, so now we got it in position, we have to tighten it up. Now that's gonna pull the tire completely down to the ground, and that's perfect. You probably don't know it, but cars are set up to bounce up and down. They're not set up to lurch backwards and forwards, but there's something else that we do, and we do it almost on every car. This is called over the tire, I'm gonna jump out, we're gonna do what's called a lasso strap. And I'll tell you the reason why we're gonna do this. The lasso strap's very simple. Again, it's only going to the tire. You've probably seen these on vehicles that are going down the road. Okay, I'm gonna have to step inside here for a second. I think you've already figured out what I'm gonna be doing. I snug that up, we take and put a towel behind it to make sure it's never going to touch that rim. Okay, and we're going to do one more and without tightening it up, just to speed things up a little bit for you. Now we do not do this on every tire. So when my guy gets there to pick up your car, remember all cars are different. He knows what he's doing. Okay, but if you use somebody else, this is why I want you to see this. And remember, if you use somebody else, make sure they hit all four tires. Don't let them be lazy. They'll do it for you. Just tell them to put one more strap on. That's your right, you're the customer, you have that right. Now, without getting a, a ratchet in there, I'm gonna have a strap pulling this way. I've got a strap pulling that way, so the car can't do this at all. And I got a strap coming down like this. Now the rest of the car, I'm gonna put three more straps where it comes down like this, pins it to the ground, and I have two isolating the front and forward motion in case we ever are in a pinch where we gotta slam on our brakes. If we have to slam on our brakes, I don't want this car to ever move. This is a 5,000 pound strap. This is about a 3,800 pound car. This one strap will keep it from lurching forward. Well, listen, I appreciate your patience. And I appreciate you doing the time and ne that's necessary to educate yourself on how to move your vehicles. These vehicles are precious to all of us. It doesn't matter if you pay $100,000 for it or $1,000. It's precious to you. You need it one piece and you need it to be done right. So whether you use us or not, stay tuned. I got a lot more stuff to teach you. Thank you very much.